What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be doing the best tweaks of the week. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first tweak I want to show you guys is called Watchboard. Now what Watchboard does is basically give you that Apple Watch UI right there on your springboard. So it's very similar to the tweak that I covered previously called Eternum. And if you guys want to check that tweak out, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys just to see which tweak you actually want with this same type of functionality. So you can see right here if we go into our settings and we're going to go over to Watchboard and we're going to enable it right here. So we also have two other toggles for circle icons. So you can either have circle icons or the default square icons, as well as show or hide icon labels. So let's, we're just gonna leave these off for right now. And right down here at the bottom, we also have icon spacing. So you can actually change the spacing between the icons. So no respring required. We can go to the springboard here and you can see exactly what this looks like. And obviously it uses the same theme that you're using on your device. So it looks pretty cool. You can see right here if we double tap on an empty space, then it's actually going to bring up the spotlight. And again, we can also zoom out just by pinching just like that. And you can also very easily just tap and hold if you want to move an application and these move as you're moving over them. So you can see exactly where it's going and it's a very smooth transition right here. So we're going to go back into the settings here. And I'm not sure exactly where that is, so we're just going to type it in and open that up. And it was actually right there in the middle that I didn't see it. And we can uh, turn on the circle icons as well as show icon labels right here. So we're also going to change the spacing a little bit. We're going to make them a little bit tighter. So the further to the left, the closer together they are. Further to the right, the wider apart they are. So now we have our circle icons. We have our icon labels and we can see that they're actually much closer together. So that's basically Watchboard in a nutshell. Definitely check this out as well as check out the Eternum tweak in the description below. That way you guys can make an informed decision. Next up we have a tweak called Virtual Home 8. Now what this tweak does is basically give your home button a break. So you can see right here if we go into our settings and let's say we go into Virtual Home and then right up here at the top we can enable it and then we can actually disable this tweak within specific applications. So if we just tap on that, then you can see all the apps that we can disable right there. And we can also install a flip control center if you wanna do that. I'm not gonna do that for right now. Uh, right down here is where your actions are. So this is the gesture that you're going to do on your Touch ID button, and right here is the action that it's going to take. So you can obviously tap on these and change them up to, uh, you have your multitask, your sleep, Siri, single tap, reachability, or actually do nothing. So if we go back here, you can see, first of all, we're gonna do a short hold to open up multitask. So if we do that real quick, you can see that it opens right up just like that. And then right here, we have double tap for reachability. So nothing's really changed there. So we'll double tap and you can see reachability takes effect. And then right here, we have tap and short hold actually puts the device to sleep. And then right here, you can change basically the timing of the tap and short hold right here. So you can change the difference uh, just by sliding it across. I find that it's actually pretty good just to have it all the way to the left right there. So we're just gonna do a tap and a short hold and it should go ahead and put the device to sleep as you can see right there. So we'll go ahead and unlock the device. And then going right back down here, we have vibrate on touch. So we can toggle that off if we wanna do that. You can also change the length of the vibration. And I find that it all the way to the left is actually the best for me. You can obviously slide this all the way across if I can grab that knob. And it makes the vibration a little bit longer but really it's not a whole lot longer. So we're gonna go ahead and slide back over here to the left and keep it right there. Of course, you can always turn that off. You also have enable quick unlock. So basically what this feature does is keep your device or your touch ID listening for two hours. So you can obviously set that to however long you want. You can do never three hours, five minutes. Basically that means that if we turn our device off, we can actually unlock the device just by opening it up just like that by putting our finger over the Touch ID button. So very simple, very sleek. It is going to take a little bit more battery than it normally would if you have this turned off, but it is a feature that you can try out and see if it has a very large effect on your battery life. And right down here, you're probably wondering what's going on with these two applications right here. This is actually due to a tweak called Bounce Notify 8. So basically what this tweak does, as you can see, any icon in the dock that has a notification, it's going to bounce. And you can actually change the height of the bounce as well as how often it bounces right in the settings. So you can see right here, if we go into our settings and let's go over to bounce notify eight, and you can see that we have it enabled. And then here we have the bounce interval. And then right here we have the bounciness or how high 
it actually bounces. So obviously you can change this up. We'll just do one second and we'll do the bounciness all the way to 10. Now no respring is required. So if we just go to our home screen here, you can see that it bounces up pretty high and every second. The only thing that I have, or the only issue that I have with this tweak is that they bounce at the exact same time. I wish they were, you know, staggered. So one would bounce and land and then this one would bounce and land and they would kind of be offset. I'm not a huge fan of them all bouncing at the exact same time. It just looks kind of silly. But other than that, this is a cool tweak. Hopefully in the future, since it's just in the dock, hopefully you'll be able to set individually which application bounces at what interval because I think that would make it a whole lot better. And of course, next we have a tweak called app heads. Now what app heads does is basically take the functionality of chat heads and applies it to the applications directly on your springboard. So you can see right here, if I double tap on the uh, status bar right here, I've actually set up an activator gesture to hide or show the app head. So if I double tap on this, this is going to show all the applications running in the background that I've opened since I've enabled this tweak. So you can see right here that if I open up, let's say we open up a different application, let's just do the health app. And you can see that the little application or the app head actually pops up right there. Now, if we open up one of these app heads right here on the left hand side of the device, then you'll notice that it doesn't take up the entire screen. It actually just takes up a portion of the screen right here. And it actually looks kind of cool. Now, one thing to mention, as you can see right here, that it's actually a little bit messed up because it has my wallpaper right there in the corner and then you can see my applications right here so it's cut off right there and that's if you don't use the specific or the correct resolution wallpaper so just keep that in mind if you're not using the correct wallpaper resolution then you're going to get this type of little uh, issue right here but you can completely interact with this entire application right there within this little window within your phone and if we tap at the top right there then it's going to close out of the application now of course you can dock these on the left and right hand side just like that. And if you haven't seen my video on app heads, I've actually done a very in-depth video. It's about nine minutes long. It's going to show you everything that you can do with app heads just because I wanted to give you guys an in-depth look because this is an expensive tweak. It's $4.99. So you guys want to get a good look at it before you actually purchase this tweak. So obviously you do need to enable this right here. So enable the tweak. And then right here you can actually set applications to be enabled for app heads. If you don't if you don't want all the applications to be enabled, then you can just toggle this off right here and then select the specific applications that you want to use. Then you also have the show hide action, which I told you I actually set up for double tap on the uh, status bar right here. So you can see if I double tap on the status bar, it's going to hide all those app heads, which is actually pretty convenient. So I definitely recommend setting up an activator gesture for that. You also have a design view which you can basically change up what is showing in the background. So right now I have a current wallpaper and you can actually change this to the currently opened app. So if we double tap right here and we tap on calculator, you can see that it's actually showing the application in the background rather than the wallpaper. So if you're using the wrong size resolution wallpaper, then you can always just use currently opened app. You also have your design settings, which basically changes up the size of the line, the live view, the corner radius of the live view, as well as the color. And then going right back down here, we also have display mode, which is going to allow you to dock on anywhere on the device or right down here you can see you can lock it to the top, bottom, left, or right. And then going down here you also have allow on lock screen which doesn't work too well. Uh, I haven't had much luck with this. It worked in the beginning but now it's not working at all so I'm not sure what's, what's up with that. Just keep that in mind that the app heads are not populating on my lock screen. You can also exclude the mail application because this is always running in the background so it's always going to be an app head. If you toggle this on then it's not going to show up ever. So that's another little feature right there that's nice that you don't have to have the application on the springboard at all times. You can also hide during video. So if you start to play a video on YouTube or anything else, then it's going to hide the app heads. And then once that video is complete, then the app heads populate back up. And then right down here, we have allowed edges. So you can see that I have it set to both edges, but you can set this to the left and right edge, basically saying that I only want to be able to dock these app heads on the left or right hand side. Then right down here we have single tap action which basically allows you to change what you want to do when you tap on an application. You can change it to open application or show live view or lock or unlock app head and that means in free mode. Right down here you can close all applications if you tap and hold on one of the applications just like this. You can see that it closes out of everything right there. So we'll go back into the settings and jump back down here to app heads. Open that up and scroll down just a little bit more. And we also have the double tap action, which basically allows you to change what happens when you double tap on an app head. So you can go to live view, open application, 
close application, close all applications, or lock or unlock app heads in free mode. Right down here we have touch ID for live view and then you can toggle that on or off and then you also have enabled applications right here. So you can tap on this and then enable these applications right here. So rather than having access to the app heads, if you set up an application right here, then you're going to have to scan your finger in order to actually open up the application for live view. And then right down here, we just have some about information. So that's basically it in app heads. So that's all that I have for this week of the best tweaks of the week. Let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.